You know, one thing that I always tell the community of plants in Lucia is to observe their plants. I can tell you that my plant care routine is really based on observation and learning about my plants day by day. Just to give you an example, I have this pilea here, and as you can see, it's doing really well. It actually has some new growth here, I think over here as well. But also we can see that it has some yellow leaves here, also yellow and brown here. And this may be a possible sign that it is lacking nitrogen. Now, I know that the spring is just around the corner, so fertilizing my plant really makes sense. But it is also really nice to kind of understand what is happening just by looking at it and really observing it. So I really encourage you to just observe your plants and go day by day testing what works for you because then you can actually make your own plant care routine and one that is actually going to work for you and also for your plants. But now let me tell you exactly what I do for my plant care routine and maybe you can get some ideas from that one. I think we have about 100 plants in our apartment, so one thing that helps me is to have one day a week that I know that I'm going to care for them. And the first thing that I do is that I check the soil just to see which ones need water. So some of them will need water and some of them will not. What I do is I stick my finger in the soil and then if it feels wet like this, I know that this plant doesn't need water. So now let's check the other plants. Mm -hmm. While I'm separating the plants that need water, I also filter the water that I'm going to use. This is because some of the plants can be very sensitive to tap water because at least here in Berlin, tap water is very hard. And as you can see, the leaves here are very damaged in the edges. This is actually a result of tap water and the water being too hard for the plant. So just to explain this method to you, this is the watering box and this is the training box. So here I'm going to add water to the box and I'm going to let my plants absorb the water from the bottom up. This is also a very good method to prevent fungus gnats from laying their eggs on the top of the soil. And then what I do is I move these plants to this box right here so the water can drain down. Now it is spring right now so I really want to fertilize my plants. This is because they're actively growing so I want to give them the nutrients that they need to grow and thrive. This season I'm actually using this fertilizer right here. It's called instant plant food and I really like it because it's a milder fertilizer. So I know that I'm giving them all the nutrients that they need but at the same time I pre I'm preventing over fertilization. For example as you can see here, it has a total nitrogen of 4%, phosphate of 3% and soluble potash at 6% which is great for my plants and it helps me to prevent over fertilizing them. Another thing that I love about it is that it's really easy. As you can see it comes in these tablets right here and all we need to do is to drop them in the water and then water our plants. Now if you have plants that have smaller roots you want to make sure that the water gets to where they are so I always, just to make sure, use this one right here and I also water from the top. So just like so. This is only if you find that your roots are not getting all the water from the bottom. So you can always also water from the top. But again, just observe your plants and look what works for you. After 15 minutes, I transfer my plants from the watering box to the draining box so all of the excess water can drain down. So I let them there for about 10 minutes or so so I know that the excess water really drains down and during this time I actually check the leaves. So I clean the leaves, I also check for any pruning that I have to do. This is great in the spring because you want to make sure that your plant has more space for healthy growth. So I always check for any dead leaves, any dry leaves and I just prune them out so my plant has more space to grow and thrive. And after I'm done I just place them where they belong. How do you take care of your plants? I would love to know. So if you have a plant care routine, make sure to comment below. I can assure you the whole community will appreciate it. And that's including myself because then we can learn from each other. Also, if you would like to try the fertilizer that I'm using right now, Instant Plant Food, they have offered 20% off to our whole community. So make sure to check it out. I have left the link in the description down below and I would love to know how it works for you. And as always, I will see you in the next one.
Ok, adiós.